Aquarius, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here to give you a reading. My love, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts, pick a node. It does not matter to me. I love you all. Cross Watchers, I'm a snitch. I'm going to tell you now. Please don't curse me in the comments. All right, love you too. Aquarius, this is a judgment-free zone but you will hear the truth. There's no gender or age, only energy. You're going to hear me use terms, he, she, her, him, they, them, it, have a pay it, no mind. Feel the energy. Remember, roles can always be reversed. Aquarius, I thank you. Like, share, subscribe, emails, comments, love tokens, donations. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you again. All right, guys, listen, let's talk about your energy a little bit. How can I say this? I don't feel like you're receptive right now. I'm not going to lie. Um, and I'm trying to respect it as best I can. To give you an example, it's kind of like when you say to somebody, hey, Aquarius, how you doing? I'm fine. And that's it. Like, you know what I mean? Um, it's just really short. It's very sharp and i'm okay with that you know if this is how you're handling life i'm gonna roll with you all right and we're just gonna jump into your reading we're pulling from the wisdom of the oracle for you today aquarius please okay even if i don't address it with you you see the energy Okay, I love you. This is where you'll find the truth. You're not always going to find what you want to hear. But even though I respect that your wishes, you're still getting the truth, my love. This is how you feel. So I have to address it. All right, so I have an orphaned energy here. This is an energy of separation, isolation, um, discontent poverty, um, all of the, you know, things that comes with, it feels like being just very, uh, looked over, you know, is how this feels very looked over, you know, um, not for you is coming in at the bottom of the deck. And honestly, I think this realization is going to help you process this emotion. Okay realizing you know the what's not for you what's not in your best interest what's not for your uh higher good you know um this is a cruel world we live in guys it is i would love to tell you that everything is freaking roses and, and and sunshine and shit i'd be lying i don't want to lie to you because i don't want you to lie to me i i think we can win once we can figure out a little bit because <laughs> we're not going to know the whole plan but a little bit you know um and everything that we think is, we want is not the best for us and why we go through what we go through we don't know but right now this is how you're feeling and you've been dealing with this for a while it's kind of gone from like sadness or, or melancholy and then remember you jumped into that power and strength and then it turned into like uh, uh, pissivity because you were angry. And now we're right back to the sadness. I love this. Something is not for you, okay? But it's in your best interest. It's, to be fair is justice energy, balance energy, Libra energy, all right? Something you may feel is not fair, but it is fair by way of the, the most high of the master plan. All right. This denial, this no is a yes for you. You're going to get some assistance with understanding this. A leg up is ancestral assistance. That's your angels and your ancestors, the holy and divine loved ones on the other side coming to help you and assist you. Um, in this part of your journey, that's what that leg up is. Because 
to be honest, this is so heavy to me, not because you don't know what it's like to go through things, but because you don't understand. That's what this feels like to me. Like, why? You know, why is the answer no? Why is this not for me? Why is it not my turn? You know, why? Why, I don't know, does, does such and such get a cookie and I don't? Where's my damn cookie? Hello? You know? All right. Let's get to your spread, babe. I want to pull from the um, animal spirit tarot for you. I don't know why I said it like that. Animal spirit tarot for you. Maybe. <laughs> oh. Aquarius, I do love you guys so much. And I know I get on your nerves sometimes, but I still love you. And I hope you still love me. And I, we, I, want, I want us all to win, baby. I want us all to win. You know? The world needs you. I need you. Okay? And I love you. And I keep saying it because I know... I understand. Just just know that I get it. Your energy is just is so heavy on my heart right now. Okay. Aquarius, please. Center energy for Aquarius. Oh. God darn. Aquarius, you putting it on thick today, baby. So I have orphan here, which would be like five of pentacles, and your center energy is a damn five of cups. Woo, how are we going to get out of this? I, I just, ten of swords at the bottom of the deck. Guys, this is one of those moments where you kind of like, you just, you're exhausted. You're just freaking exhausted. I'm sorry. You know, sometimes you have events in your life that literally bring you to the floor. I'm not talking to your knees. I'm talking where you are spread eagle, face flat on the floor, just depleted, you know? Five of Cups reminds you to turn around, reminds you that um, all is not lost, reminds you that even though three cups have spilled, that two cups are still full, that God is still God. The Ten of Swords remind you that even though there is pain, there may be betrayal, there may be backstabbing, it's over. Okay? Crown the energy, please, for Aquarius. Crown the energy for Aquarius. Hmm. Okay. What's crowning hanging over your head? Two of Swords reverse, Knight of Wands reverse, Knight of Pentacles reverse, Six of Cups reverse. God darn. Three of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Okay, let's talk. Remember when I came, when I first started your reading, I said, it's kind of like when somebody says, hi, Aquarius, and you say, you know, how you doing? You say, I'm fine. And I told you like it was short, it was sharp. And even though you're saying I'm fine, I know you're not fine, but I know you didn't want to talk about it. And what's hanging over your head is exactly that. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to have nothing to do with it. I'm done. I, I am so utterly... I don't even know. I don't have the words for this feeling. And I know this feeling and I've been there. I, I, I don't know. But I do believe in God. And if you're following me, then nine times out of 10, so do you. Um, you're allowed to be hurt. You're allowed to be angry. I'm talking about when you're in prayer. When you're in your private prayers and meditation, your relationship is personal, okay? Um, I don't care what no preacher or bishop or I mean tells you. When you stand, you stand 
<laughs> anyway, that's a whole nother story. Just know that you're allowed to feel these things and you're allowed to um, voice these things. And um, I think you should do that. Voice your concerns, voice your pain, you know, in your private prayers and meditation. If you need to scream, scream. If you need to yell, yell. If you need to cry, cry. You know, um, you're being heard. If you weren't being, we wouldn't have this spread if you weren't being heard. You know, I don't know the reason for the season, but I do know it is a season and I know seasons change. You know what I'm saying? So please, if you need help, get it. If you need counseling, get it. If you need assistance, you know, utilize the network that's available. 800 numbers, 900 numbers, 2,000 numbers, it don't matter to me. Hello? But you got to get this out of you. What's working against Aquarius right now? What's in the way? What's working against Aquarius right now? Three of Cups. Aquarius, what works against you, the Three of Cups be, would be representational of, number one, I have to say third-party situations. Number two, what's here is um, Covet, Covet. Wanting something somebody else has, covet. I want to say it like that. Yeah, like, why can I have a cookie? Remember I was saying that earlier? Somebody else has a cookie, you want a cookie, damn it. Um, that works against you because your journey is your own. There's also something else here. Um, there's something of, I don't understand... What is it? I under I don't understand. It's something tied to to both of these. It's it's the eight of cups. Why we had to part? Is this grief? It might be grief. Maybe you lost a loved one. It doesn't feel recent though. Maybe six years. Six years. Um, but for whatever reason, it's kind of like you. You, like you feel like you just lost them again. Maybe because you're going through something in your life and this is a time that you would really need this person or they would you feel you would feel comfort from this person and you don't have that that stability, that comfort, that that rock, you know, that breast to help you through this. There's a lot of blame here. I have to say that. I love you, but we talking. Okay, there's a lot of blame here. And it, it I don't know, I'm th trying to think of another kind of like analogy besides this cookie. Because I don't want you to kind of take it literally, but I can't think of anything else. It's, it's why, it's a why here. Why, 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 you know? Why do they get the duh and not me? Why do the duh, 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 not me? What the duh, 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 not me? Where's this coming from? What brought this on for Aquarius, please? Thank you. The Queen of Pentacles. Bitch. Some of you had somebody in your life that told you something that was horrible. And it was almost as if it was spoken in a way of um, detriment or like... Um, Bitch, hold on, because this Queen of Pentacles is pissing me off. They said, um, they'd sat on a very high horse and expected absolutely friggin' nothing from you. And it's almost as if you're trapped under that curse, but it was a lie. But for whatever reason, when you go through things in your life, you tie these things to what this person said. Okay, because it just stuck to you like glue. And I need you to, bitch. 
All right. That's not for everybody, but so let's talk about what this comes from. <sighs> Bitch, I got a problem processing this heifer right here. I'm sorry. I, I Look, I didn't call her about three, four Bs, I, and it's still not out of me. I'm trying to tell you, Aquarius, I'm trying to process these emotions and, and work with you, but I'm pissed off. I, I have to say that because even when I tap into as a general and, and, and coming out of that singular, like that person that said something bad, when I kind of broaden that energy a little bit, it still comes off that somebody sat on a friggin' high horse and talked down to you. That's what I'm getting. I'm not going to kid you. And I, and I hate to say it because I feel like this queen of pentacles, I, I hold this energy to a different standard. And I think you held this person to a certain standard and they wound up being the wicked witch of, of the East, West, North, and South. You, you, you understand? Whew. Okay. Having said that, um, others of you, I have to say that you're missing somebody. Okay, that's just, it's grief. You're processing the loss of somebody who actually was nurturing in your life. Somebody who was really the cornerstone of so many things in your life. And you're processing grief. And it's not a recent loss. Um, I have to say that. This loss feels old. Not old, but a few years at least. Four or six years at least. Maybe six years. Maybe they got sick and was sick for a couple years, and then they passed, something like that. Nine of Swords. Yeah, but they've been on your mind. It's like your mind hasn't been right since they've been gone. You know what I mean? And then everything that's been happening in your life since they've been gone has kind of just been piling up and piling up. Like you're having trouble kind of processing any type of... Uh, obstacle or trial or tribulation that you have to face because it was a time when this person assisted you with doing that. You know what I mean? I have to say for a small amount of you, this is a job. Yeah, I want to say that. A small, small amount of you, this is a job that you're completely losing faith in. And you stay at the job because you like the co-workers, okay? I'm just saying. Love you. Where's this going? Future energy, please, for Aquarius. Future energy, please, for Aquarius. The Nine of Pentacles, reverse strength, reverse. God, don't worry. Yeah. Aquarius, I, I I don't know what to say. I, I don't know what to say. I have no I have no idea of the why. The Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I have no idea. I don't know, baby. I see it. I feel it. I don't have an explanation of why you're going through all of these horrible, horrible feelings. But I do know that Again, with the Ten of Wands at the bottom, just like with the Ten of Swords that was at the bottom earlier, it will pass. That part I know. Okay? That part I know. It will pass. Two of Pentacles. It's going to take for you to let something go. Put something down. Yeah. And have some... You're going to need some me time. Just between you and God. Just you and God. You know what I mean? You really have to, to like have that moment because I, I, you, I, I know you feel like you deserve an explanation. That's how this feels to me. At this point in my life, I deserve an explanation. It's not that I've never been through nothing. It's not that uh, I, uh, I can't handle this. You know, this, I know this will pass, but I don't understand why. That's what you're that that's how I feel in your energy. But when you go and have that a personal time with uh your private prayers and meditation, the answers come. Eight of Wands comes in because it's between you and God. And it'll it'll strengthen you with that seven of wands. It'll give you, you know, something to stand on. Okay? Because right now you're standing on feeling betrayed. I'm just saying. 
All right? But look what's behind that, that new beginning. See, God is still God. But if you want to know why, you're going to have to get down to the meat and potatoes, baby. Meat and mother-loving potatoes. And I know it's hard for you to do that because you don't even want to talk about it. That's how we started your reading. You didn't want to talk. You know? But a new beginning is to be had. And it's coming with a uh, final judgment. Ace of Wands and judgment. Beautiful new beginning. That is absolutely just for you. Just for you, my love. Look at the moon. The moon is so spiritually cleansing. I appreciate this energy. It allows you to purge and get rid of this stuff. Purge. Get it out of you so that you can have balance and peace and tranquility. Move into some bliss and some happiness with that 1111 Four of Wands. All right, Aquarius, I'm going to leave this here. I hope this helps. If any event, guys, that... This doesn't resonate. I'd be okay with that. Please check your moon arising this time. Don't take the energy with you, love, if it's not for you. Leave it here for another Aquarius, all right? Thumbs up, subscribe. Make sure you're notified of future readings. It is absolutely free to do so, and it supports the channel. Remember, we are all perfectly imperfect, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.